Fellow governors, um, dear excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, um, on behalf of the whole audience, I would like to thank uh, all our speakers for their excellent, brilliant, magnificent uh, insights and ideas. Um, we are very proud of um, um, having listened to the thoughts and the messages of uh, Alexander Lamfalushi. Um, and um, uh, I'm in a pretty easy situation uh, by now because it's nearly impossible to summarize the messages of uh, the conference. But there is no need to do it because Niels, our professor, gave us an honest and well-crafted story of the journey called the Euro. So may I just um, uh, offer some, some remarks uh, probably um, shared by uh, the majority of our um, speakers. Um, just three plus one um, uh, comments on the, on the gist of our conference. Firstly, um, we've got good news and bad news, as always. Um, but the good news and the bad news are the two sides of the same coin. Um, when it comes to the first point, uh, um, it's good news having uh, uh, the insights and thoughts of Lam with us. Uh, it's high time we badly need uh, to uh, discover and rediscover um, the messages of Lam Falushi. We are the right track uh, to do it. On the other hand, and it's bad news, uh, we seem to face, um, to some extent, the same problems. Uh, the problems uh, uh, faced uh, Shandor, Alexander. So uh, we've got the same questions, the same question marks. Uh, the problems um, uh, that are ahead of us uh, uh, seem to be uh, quite similar to the problems of the last decades. So again and again, we have to come back to the initial points of the euro. Uh, secondly, um, yes, um, politically the euro is a success story. Um, on the one hand, the patient failed to die, luckily. The patient uh, called the euro and the eurozone survived by the skin of our teeth, I uh, tend to say. But uh, the patient uh, is still in a very weak uh, state. Um, so we are again just uh, the two sides of the same coin. Yes, we survived the uh, new second largest uh, um, uh, economic and financial um, uh, collapse uh, of um, the last uh, 100 years, but just nearly. So we have to face the same problems again and again. We are still vulnerable. Um, and and um, we got um, the third point, again, with uh, two sides of the same coin, good news and bad news. Um, we managed to benefit from the crisis. It's good news. On the other hand, uh, we still keep on going under the umbrella of the uh, old uh, political structure of the uh, European integration, uh, we have to use the crisis in order to go ahead. In good times, we fail. I mean, in good times, there are good times, but we couldn't benefit from good times because um, in the long run, um, uh, we've been, we've been um, accumulating uh, new and new um, challenges. So. Uh, is it sustainable just to benefit from the crisis? Can we avoid crisis? Can we uh, piece together a new political structure and mindset within the European Union just to benefit, just to capitalize on good times? Um, and plus one, um, yes, we need bold reforms. That was the wording of Sandor Alexander and we badly need new structural reforms. Uh, um, 
on the one hand, um, it's, uh, there is consensus on that. On the other hand, we've got um, double-digit unemployment rate. We've got unsustainable public debt figures within some uh, European Union member countries. Um, we've got um, uh, some unsustainable uh, uh, tax system, taxation within the European Union. And um, there is no such a thing as the trust of our voters. There is a, to some extent, it's, uh, it's the right wording. Uh, there is a um, um, uh, democratic deficit within the European Union, uh, not only in the Eurozone. So in, in all cases of a structural reform, we badly need political stability. That was uh, the clear-cut message of our speakers. But um, structural reforms and political stability both uh, go hand in hand. Uh, they are twins, but when we've got, uh, um, uh, uh, we've got a lack of uh, both structural reforms and political stability within some countries of the European Union, it means that within the European Union, we can get nowhere. So, all in all, we need a new mindset in order to go ahead. We should um, uh, put together a new framework for bold structural reforms, and we should rebuild confidence on one hand, and we should uh, gain and regain the trust of our voters. Uh, again, um, Thank you very much uh, for both the audience and the speakers. Um, the very reason for uh, all these um, good news and bad news is just to invite you to attend the next uh, Lamfolosche Lectures Conference uh, that will be held in January next year. Thank you. Thank you.